the mail this morning. This is my Manfrotto mini tripod. I started vlogging over a month ago with my Sony A6000 and to go with that I got the Joby Gorilla Pod Hybrid because it's really good for compact cameras. So the Joby Gorilla Pod, um, you can watch my review on it, um, it's been really good, it's done really well, it's great, it's durable, it's flexible, it's very easy to take on the go. I think the only issue I have with the Joby Gorilla Pod is that um, every time I have to set up a shot, you know, I have to keep like trying to get it stable and then I have to switch the ball head to just get it like level and that's a lot of stress. While I've been watching vlogs in, on YouTube, you might have noticed a tripod that other YouTubers have been using. And I was like looking for the tripod, I didn't know what the name was. And well, lo and behold, we got the Manfrotto tripod. So um, I ordered the Pixie Mini last week, but it didn't deliver. I don't know why. So I called them yesterday and they told me I think it got lost or something. So Amazon was um, cool enough to just send me something real quick this morning. It came really early. That was dope. So I'm going to be unboxing the tripod for you guys. Let's take a look at it. Why is there all this space? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I have to take this box of class and I can take it home. So this is the first look of what it's like. And here's the back if anyone's actually interested in what the box looks like. So let's open this up. I actually read the manual. Yeah, I just like whatever. There we go. Oh. So it's a little in here. Ooh. Honestly, this feels this really feels great. It feels really high quality. Which it is of course if a lot of people are buying this. I'm actually really happy that I got this. Um, you know, I was trying to look at reviews, I was wondering how tall it was going to be and I have really long fingers but it's like, it's about palm size, it's really handy. And there, there's the leg spread. It's dope. It has a little button right here where um, I think I push it in and I can rotate the ball head. Oh, it's really, really strong. So. It, um, especially for compact cameras like something like the Sony a6000 I should be able to carry that this is also something I feel could slip out of your hand now um, for vlogging I feel this is really ideal but the fact that I have the Joby and this I am way beyond happy because um, there's some days where I don't want to have this on because with the Joby Gorilla Pod it's really um, convenient to carry a camera around all day in my hand like I go to class um, um, during the week and stuff and let's say my camera doesn't fit in my backpack because it's a microphone and I just want to point and shoot I don't want to have to keep taking the camera apart and putting it back together So I take the whole gear in my hand and with the Joby it just hangs on my fingers It doesn't ever just slip if I held this like this There's a chance it could just fall off if somebody hit me or something with the Joby I could use one finger and just hold my entire camera setup. That's what I do when I go to class so um Definitely, I will be carrying them both to school, this one and my Joby Gorilla Pod because this one now, it's just easier for me to set up a shot. If I want to shoot something, boom, drop it, ready to go. But with the Joby, it's like left, right, and you got to struggle and then, you know, there's people everywhere. You don't want to waste time. You want to get your shot and leave. There's nothing that can really go wrong with this, you know. It's ideal for the Canon G7X if you're a vlogger, if you have that. Um, a lot of YouTubers get this and get that. Plus, there is a bigger one than this. This is the Manfrotto Mini. There is actually a bigger tripod that extends more. But um, at the same time, um, if I don't want this to be as wide, then I don't really have a choice, you know. It is going to expand to this extent. It's not adjustable. You can't just put it like in between like that. It's still going to expand. So um, yeah, that's the only thing, but it's fine. It's actually it's actually pretty compact and small. I think this can fit in my pocket. It can just <laughs> just right there. It's really handy. Um, I am in love with this, to be honest. Uh, see, I'm trying to make a collection of camera stuff because I didn't know I would be this interested in filmmaking. 
thickness and now I have the Joby tripod I have this I got just a, a basic um, standalone tripod and I have my camera of course so I'm getting the G7X soon this month that has me pretty excited so um, if you have any questions or you know just any comments on this or if you're using this tripod and there's anything that I might have missed out then do let me know in the comment section below because I am just loving this look I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with my camera on it definitely this is my test with the tripod um, it's, it's what can I say it's very handy but you know as long as you don't you know, drop it then you're good but it's stellar compared to Joby Gorilla Pod with the Joby Gorilla Pod you never really get um, your arm hurt because um, I don't know it's just something about the bendy tripod that it takes a little bit of the work away from you from having to like extend your arm but with this like you're doing a lot of manual work like holding the camera out here or else I'd have to rest my hand if you get what I mean but with the Gorilla Pod it's like I just bend it all the way and when I hold it it doesn't feel like this this feels like work you know this feels like a lot of work right here so if you're starting out go with the Joby you can wrap it around things and just put it on anything you'd like also remember that you can watch my review on the gorilla pod links in the description you can pick this up on Amazon for about 20 pounds and if you get the one that comes with the smartphone jack um yeah if you wanted to start vlogging with your iphone or whatnot it does have um a smartphone jack you can put on it and just clip your phone right to it and that will go for 25 pounds and if you're in the us probably about the same price well anyway i'm gonna get to good use with my with my tripod and thank you for watching if you're new here my name is Ama. do subscribe follow me on instagram right here and i will see you guys in the next video I